Well, hi for now. A few years ago, I went to my mum's 21st birthday party, celebrating the fact she'd managed to get a whole extra year younger than me. And while there, I bumped into someone who claimed I should recognise her. It took me a while to realise I was looking at the face of my sister's godmother, mainly because she was sporting a radical new hairstyle. But the moment I twigged, I gave her a huge hug and said, Love in the Ripley look, it's awesome. How stupid did I feel when she told me she'd lost her hair to chemotherapy? Well, imagine you're walking down the street and you see a big pile of doggy doo about six steps ahead of you. You take two more steps and the smell starts to curdle your nostrils. You take another two steps and you start imagining the grueling task of having to scrape it off your shoe if you're not careful. And then you take another two steps and land in it. Yeah. That's kind of how stupid. Now today marks the start of Macmillan's Shave or Style campaign, aimed at raising money for the battle against that life-altering diagnosis of cancer. The philosophy of the Graticast isn't just about counting your blessings, but also thinking how you might use those blessings to make a positive difference to your life and the lives of those around you. Now, I'm reasonably blessed to have a head that will never go bald. My dad and my mum pretty much eradicated that possibility by contributing such thick, curly locks to my DNA. But my sister's godmother had to sacrifice her beautiful hair in the fight just to stay alive. In recent years, I've come to learn of several friends of mine who have lost parents or grandparents to cancer and have seen the huge scars it can leave on their families. So. I quite like the idea of using the hair that I'm blessed with to mark their memory. So I would like to accept Macmillan's call to brave the shave. But that's not the only reason I'd like to accept that call. See, my sister's godmother? She's still alive. Her treatment worked, making her living proof that biomedical research into debilitative diseases, like cancer or ME, does have a chance of success. So, I would like to brave the shave in memory of all those who fell in the battle, but also to celebrate those like Macmillan who are working hard to win the war. So now, let me tell you how I plan to brave the shave. I pledge to do it live, right here on YouTube, next Saturday, the 26th of July. And I will do it all by myself, using this thing. But not only that, I will do it wearing this thing. Oh yes, next weekend will be Chip's live blindfolded self-shave challenge. Whatever the results of my blind DIY effort, I promise to wear it for a whole week which means it will be visible in the first Graticast of August as well. But there is a catch. I'm only going to go through with this plan if I can raise at least £124 on my Macmillan Shave or Style sponsorship page. Why 124 Well, that's the current number of likes we have on our Facebook Graticast page. And if each one of those folks donates just £1, then we'll hit that target easy. And if all those of you who subscribe by YouTube and Twitter do as well, then we will smash that target. Especially if some of you are generous enough to donate more than a pound. And who knows, I might even be able to convince Tito to give it a go too. So, to donate, all you need to do is find my page on the Macmillan Shave or Style website, which you can get to by clicking my hair, or by finding one of the links that I'll be putting out on our social media. Please do share this around also, and remember, your donation will help us give a shout out to all those absent parents, absent loved ones, but also the hope of one day ending that sort of pain for good. So thank you, and ciao for now.